Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. Every time he peels a banana, it's already split. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to the podcast, nice to have you here. Whether you are listening on iTunes or watching on YouTube, nice to have you here. If you'd like to get more access to all of our videos, the video side of things, you can go to icecream.video and all of our video banks are there, so uh, enjoy that. I do want to thank a new sponsor for the podcast this week, which is Weber Flavors, W-E-B-E-R. Based in Illinois, they make a really huge range of specialty extracts, and for those who are in the Uh, frozen custard and the soft serve business, you really do rely on these extracts to provide that flavor profile. But obviously it's also very, very applicable to the batch freezing world as well. Check them out, it's been around since 1902, weberflavors.com, W-E-B-E-R, weberflavors.com. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. I wanna talk in this particular episode about giving people a chance to shine. Now, we're filming this and airing this at the end of the summer season 2017, and you've more than likely had college kids go back to school, and you may be struggling a little bit with the warmer weather, it's still pretty busy, um, and you're losing some of the stars going back to college, and you're left with your regular 16, 17, 18 year old employees. You need to look for the diamond in the rough with those people. You've got to now's the time to identify who will be the star, the future star, that may not be performing as you would like right now. And I'll give you a great example. Last night my wife and I went to the Billy Joel concert here in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. And for me, a highlight of the concert was when Billy got on stage and he said, we have a roadie whose name's Chainsaw, and he's been our roadie here for about 30 years. He's been touring the world with Billy Joel for 30 years. So he's not a spring chicken, he's an older guy. And anyway, Billy said, I'm gonna invite him on stage to do a song. If you don't like it, you can boo him off, but here he is, Chainsaw. Anyway, the band cranks up Highway to Hell by ACDC. Ba-na-na, ba-na-na, and Chainsaw walks on stage. Now I've got a link to the YouTube video that I filmed myself Uh, in the show notes here, I really would suggest that you have a look at it. Because Chainsaw came on stage and he owned it. I mean, he was walking up and down the stage, sure he wasn't as polished as Billy in his cut off jean shorts and his uh, tucked in uh, blue work shirt and his work boots. But I tell you what, the crowd went absolutely nuts. And uh, I YouTubed Chainsaw and Billy Joel's uh, roadie and come to find out that he's performed that song all over the world. Now, hats off to Billy Joel, and I would love to have been there for the conversation where Chainsaw says to Billy, hey, I can sing, you know, and the first time that Billy says, well, get on stage and have a go. And it's those kind of experiences that give people the opportunity to shine. And if you can look at that video and watch Chainsaw's face as he basically roams the stage in front of probably about 30,000 people at Bush Stadium in St. Louis last night, you would think that man is having his time to shine. Well, the same principle applies for you and your business. So you might have a group of teenagers, a group of young adults that you've got, and they're basically the counter workers and so forth. You need to be able to kind of have a look and really look deep into each of their potential. If anyone's showing potential, if anyone wants opportunities, to be able to show some sort of leadership or management uh, uh, responsibilities, then give them their time to shine. I think as a business owner, the best thing you can do, apart from obviously be a successful business owner and create revenue, is to mentor this younger generation and give them opportunities for business leadership and business knowledge. So what I want you to do in this episode, and this comes with a challenge, is to be able to find your own chainsaw. uh, Hopefully they're a bit more well presented than the chainsaw on stage last night. Find your own chainsaw, give them an opportunity to shine. Again, I think that the best thing you can do 
for this younger generation is to take them under your wing and show them how business works, give them the ability to be able to have some management experience, some interpersonal communication, and some opportunities to shine. And I think, like Chainsaw, they will have an opportunity to be able to really feel as though they've contributed to your business. Again, very simple message, but uh, one that's very, very powerful, I think, in the lives of your employees. So again, thank you for Weber Flavors for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. If you have a suggestion or a conundrum or a problem, or even just want to know something about the ice cream business, drop us a line, steve at scoopskill.com. I encourage you to subscribe. Check out some of our other videos on the uh, icecream.video site. Keep on scooping, folks, and we'll see you in the next video.